What's up, people? First thing I want to show you is my uh, DIY LED new system that uh, I made from Rapid LED. Uh, replaced my metal halides. I like the way it shines red on the wall. Pretty cool. But uh, I got 72 LEDs. Added a variety of colors, different mix. Didn't go too crazy. Don't want it looking like a rainbow in here. But uh, try to get a, a lot of colors add to the spectrum. I'm, I must change out some more. That's the one thing about DIY. You can always change them. Change it to whatever you want. You know. I thought I made it very nice with my own DIY hanging kit. Just a few pieces from Home Depot, really, that I did myself. Connected the heat sinks to this. Uh, shelving bar made for uh, shelving racks um, cleaned up the wiring covered it with some uh, heat shrink tubing uh, used molex connectors so that I can disconnect it at any time same with the hanging kit I can just disconnect this anytime I want pull it down disconnect it from here pull it down this extra connection is for the fan that I still haven't put on um, I'm running the LEDs at 20% power, so it's still very cool to the touch. I don't expect it to be at 20%, but um, with LEDs, you always have to start low. Uh, you, you replace your LEDs, your headlights for LEDs, or T5s for LEDs, and a lot of people don't think it's as bright, so they turn up the juice and they burn out all their corals. So anyway, here's 20% um, on my tank. Um, I think it looks nice. This is the color that I like. Um, I have six drivers um, running on three different cords, three different power cords. I have a Royal, Boo Royal Blues, um, two on a, on a mix of colors, and one on the white. So I could change that color any which way I want, which is kind of why I went that way. Um, had some good things, had some bad things with my tank going on. I mean, a lot has grown, as you see from the last video. Um, some stuff has died. And the reason is because I am I was still dosing manually. Um, I think I was at the amount of of uh, the amount I was dosing was very high, and I was trying to do it fast. That's one thing about alk uh, alkalinity: you can't dose it too fast. You uh, you just kill your corals, and that's exactly what I did. On the left here is one of my favorite, the Hawkins. Um, when you bleach out a coral from alkalinity. It goes from pretty much one day to the next, white, whew, gone. And you'll see that burn out just as this coral is still dying, but it's trying to survive. But as you see, it, it bleaches out from the base, then goes out to the tips. If it was bleaching out from the tips, that would be your lighting. Um, again, if you put your LEDs too fast, you will burn your tips and you will kill your corals as well. They're just die the opposite way. This one I'm pretty sure will die. I've cut off some frags so that I, hopefully I can save some of it if the whole thing decides to go. Um, the rock work is still the same except for this section here. I don't know if you remember if you see my last video I had a lot of uh, zoas there and uh, it completely overtook the rock, all the rock next, all the rocks next to, next to it and uh, I had to get them out of there. I didn't like them anymore, you know, back a couple years ago I I really loved them but it, it just got annoying it started overtaking everything and uh, I got this ATL Shades of the Fall back there I don't know why it's in the back, it's one of my favorites but it was uh, attacking that and preventing that from growing um, but what I did which was recommended to me was I made a caulk paste out of a caulkawalser and uh, just water make it a, a paste and pretty much smothered that onto the the zoas there and um, they told me to go slow do a little bit at a time because that cockwasser will raise the alkalinity in your tank and I did a lot and uh, I think with do with uh, dosing a high amount too fast and that paste at the same time uh, that's what led me to bleached out corals I like the way they look so I saved them uh, a couple others that I lost was um, a red planet that um, seemed to be going. It didn't kill it, but it, it made it um, 
it made it retract and then once I changed the LEDs they was gone so I lost that red planet that sucks but um, everything else seems to be doing okay some stuff's kind of a pastel color not uh, doing as well as it it was uh, some things are doing very well that's why I like the zinnias because they kind of in, kind of give me a it's kind they're kind of an indicator of how well the tank is doing not how well how well but how clean the tank is if I see them spreading I know the tanks getting a little dirty so they're kind of a, my indicator of how things are are doing as you see they're moving up on the glass or they were when I first put on the LEDs I put them at about I started about 10 percent power so these things immediately started going up up the glass and then uh, as I've been raising it slowly over the past couple of weeks they um, they kind of only one of them continued to rise and the rest just stayed as they were at the top of the rock so anyway like I said I um, after that out whole alkalinity problem I just went out and bought myself a doser I got myself a GHL doser it's uh, pretty expensive, pretty penny, but uh, you see a very big difference between that and uh, the Bubble Magnus and any of those cheap dosers like um, like the Marine Magic, which I heard very good reviews, but you have to tinker with it. So um, if you on a low budget and you need a doser, I would suggest a Marine Magic. Uh, I know a lot of people personally that have done uh, very well with it. They, like they, like I said, the then you just have to tinker with it a little bit and anyway so like I said some stuff kind of turned to pastel colors some stuff did well some stuff has not um, clams are still doing good I uh, got us a lot of stuff down here that's still there some stuff doesn't like the light some stuff does everything's still adjusting um, it's a process one thing I haven't seen is people go from when people change to LEDs, I notice I've never really seen a full SPS tank go from halides to LEDs. And that's what I'm looking for. A lot of people has, say they do well with LEDs, but they're either starting a new tank or have a lot of softies or LPS. I've never seen someone with an established SPS tank go from halides to LEDs. So that's what kind of where I'm at. Uh, keep in mind also that when your corals do not like something they will not intake as much calcium and alkalinity so I think that's another reason why mine rose so anyway let me show you my doser real quick because I guess you've seen the LEDs I was gonna build a box around them but kinda like the way they look they look pretty clean to me so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do yet so let me show you that real quick alright so here's my doser it is a GHL Profilux doser uh, three pump. I got the third pump um, in case I wanted to dose something else to it. I don't know. Um, I figure better now than trying to upgrade later. Uh, this is a pretty pricey doser, but it is uh, it is very well worth it. Uh, all materials are very high quality. Um, I highly recommend it. I've compared it to the Bubble Magnus doser and. Um, this one's way better. I've seen the Marine Magics. Those are um, low quality, but they still work. They're nice. If you don't have the budget for it, I would recommend one of those at least. Um, a lot of tinkering with it, but it'll it'll do the job. One thing about this one here is it it removes the math from it. You literally tell it how much to dose, when to dose, and it will automatically not when to dose. It actually configures itself when to dose and how much to dose so there's no math involved literally plug it in tell it what to do and it does it on its own no calculations needed um, so there it is it's pretty cool I highly recommend it I'm not gonna mess around with this uh, alkalinity problem no more um, like I said I use bulk reef supply two-part doser recipe one um, this is the five dollar box I think they sell it for ten bucks on brs.com um, I get this one at my local fish store uh, it's pretty cool this one is just a two gallon one um, usually lasts me quite a while you just pretty simple you just dump your bag into each gallon 
shake it up we're good to go this is the third part the magnesium put that in a 20 ounce water bottle shake it up and you can add that um, pretty much every time you start a new one uh, I still got my um, chiller hooked up I figured it's summertime I haven't taken it down yet but uh, it's not on it doesn't really uh, kick on anymore now that with the LEDs but it's still hot here in LA so I figure summertime will heat up and they'll kick on this is the box that I made for the LED system as you see it comes in through the raw through the wall wraps around my stuff and then uh, again the Molex connectors I can disconnect them at any time still don't have the fans hooked up but everything's pretty compact in the box got three power cords coming out I got some fans hooked up to it uh, just for the box itself keep it cool but I haven't even hooked up those I haven't even hooked up those yet so um, wiring is always going to be a mess you can probably clean it up better than I do but that's good enough for me added some resistors so I can test the power every whenever I want without disconnecting anything highly recommend that a lot of people put fuses as well um, I didn't so there's my box there's my LEDs my doser and my tank and there's my tank so let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys got any questions um, one thing I am looking forward to is seeing New York Steelers tank Hopefully, I want to see how he did since now that he put his radions on his tank. So, I want to see how he did with his change from halides to LEDs. Um, one thing I'm looking forward to. So, I'm looking out for his next video. Shout out to anyone else out there. Keep it going. Have some patience. Some things will do well. Some things will die on you. And with that said, I'm out.